the radio show brought you back. Yeah, like, that brought me back. Brought you out. Brought me to the moment where my wife said, I'm going to leave you. Hmm. If you don't get, if if you're not done with this shit, I can remember slamming her. Bah! Slamming her. What the f- It was like an afternoon. Ready? When I, my final day of drinking. <laughs> My final day of drinking was like October 13th. It was like a Friday the 13th. It was like a creepy day. It was like two, and, I, and I'm not a guy that keeps the day-to-day thing. I don't know if you are, and I respect anybody, however mm-hmm. they do it. But beer of the week, last segment of our show. <laughs> but I'm drinking Captain Morgan, like shots at 11.30 a.m. And rationalizing with my wife, like, no, it's just shots, but it's, it's Captain Morgan, it's not whiskey. And I promise you I wouldn't be like, how pathetic. And she took it. And I would get mad at her. I get mad at her. Man, you're just not letting me be who I want to be. And this is who I am. And when, 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 I'm a victim. I'm a victim. My mom. And this is who I am. And you should change. Fuck that. God bless her, man. She put up with all that shit. And when I had my daughter already, she was four. And thank God she's never seen me drink. You know what I'm saying? Like how powerful that is. And so that day I never touched. I made a decision Mm -hmm. to never drink again. And I've never remotely come close. I'm sure like you, you see a drink and you're like, damn, that looks tasty. I would like to drink it. But it's not like, oh, man, I need this, I need this. You know right. what I'm saying? So once you kind of get your head cleared, right? So your wife loves you until you can love yourself. Boom. And now you're getting clear. Yeah. And I would imagine things start to fall into place. So yes. tell me a little bit about when the bigger acting comes into play. Yeah, I'll tell you. Uh, I booked my first big gig, Identity Thief, which is on Netflix right now. Please watch it over and over with this new SAG deal. Come on, so the streaming goes well. Uh, and I booked like, like it made the trailer and like it was with Jason Bateman. So I got, I got just enough love every year to validate and make me feel like, okay, I'm on the right path. I book another role, I book another. But then Walking Dead was the treasure, the biggest show in the world. And it's right in Atlanta, my God. And this is right at the, like, like I'd been fired. I booked prison break. I was like, you know, a couple of things. And, and, and I can remember my first audition and I get it. And my daughter is in her baby, like just a little uh, baby seat. And I get it, I'm like, okay, Megan, I go, Megan, I got a Walking Dead audition. Yeah, it's one line, but it's a Walking Dead audition. And I'm like, let's go. And so I do it, hear nothing back. And this was Slicer days, right? (laughs) Fast forward five years. Five. And I'm sitting there on my 15th audition for Walking Dead. Now, once again, I'm gonna, this is a, um, a running thing in my life. When I make a decision to stick to something, I'm going to do it until I'm done. And I said, I'm gonna be a little old fat Hispanic dude. <laughs> 90 years old, I'll be like, put me in the like dead, like this. <laughs> or they're gonna quit the show. And that's happened before. Hey, burn notice, should've booked me. <laughs> hey, uh, suits. Yeah, should've booked me. <laughs> so I go to Could've bed. Save the whole franchise. Yeah, but I think the universe was like, yo, don't worry about it. Because then one day I get woken up out of a nap from the executive producer and email Scott. And he's like, Carlos, I'd like you to audition for a part. Like, <laughs> out of the blue. Now, mind you, three weeks before that, my wife goes, that shouldn't say three weeks before that. It was three, I got this three months after I quit drinking. That night and multiple times, my wife would look at me and go, and excuse my French, but she, I deserved it. You fucking idiot. The second you quit drinking, you're gonna book The Walking Dead. You think you're gonna get rewarded for this? And they're like, man, I am, because I'm like so much fun as a chunk. And then the universe goes, of course she was right. And in the same way, manifesting and not giving up and and using your affirmations and and all these other things, my notebook, and you you focus on it enough and it's going to conspire in one way. Now it's up to you whether or not you're gonna see it or not. Because what if I would have said, nah, they don't want me. And I'll get all butthurt and victim and no, no. And I would watch the people who booked it the next week. And I'd be like, or you know, when it would come on, I'd be like, that's even more brutal, right? 
I don't get it. Then I see the people. Now, most of the time I was like, well, they're different. You know, he's this, that. And sometimes I'd be like, all right, he looks a lot like me. <laughs> but I get the car. 